Maritime History. Hello everyone, dear science lovers. Today we will talk about first order blue, maritime history and first ships. Before the video, please subscribe to our channel. Let's start. Seafaring have been continued their existence for millennia. According to researchers, maritime is least old as civilizations that are in seaside as. Actually, T is unknown when maritime began for first time. However, theory is that canoeing for transport in is older than 50-60.000 years. Maybe you did surprised when you heard it. But if you live in the southeastern seaside of Asia 50-60.000 years ago, and you want to arrive to New Guinea, you used to probably use canoes. Canoe is a very simple watercraft made by carving tree trunks and it is first sea vehicle. Furthermore, the oldest known ship belongs to Egypt's civilization, exactly civilization is in seaside. Furthermore, Egypt's civilization is not only in seaside, this civilization is inside of the longest river, the Nile. According to found about the oldest ship, Egyptians have began to use sea for their basic transportation. The oldest canoe found in Africa was also found by a farmer in Nigeria. It turned out that the canoe was built 8,000 years ago as a result of tests. Egyptian civilization has a history of about 7,000 years ago. That's mean seafaring Samo times even older than other civilization in Africa, but the oldest canoe has not been found in Africa. It has been found in Europe, where maritime is of great importance just like Asia and Africa. The canoe in the Netherlands was determined by the carbon-14 test to be 9.510.000 years old. After a while, People needed larger vessels than canoes due to the increase in personal belongings. Later, they learned to properly cut and combine the trees used in canoe construction and built the first and boat's ship. With this method, the Egyptians not only managed to travel on small sea voyages and cross the Nile River, but also to sail to the Mediterranean. The oldest known and complete ship was found in the underground storage of the pyramid built for Pharaoh Khufu. This ship, that we call Khufu ship, is 4,500 years old. According to the ancient Egyptian belief, the ship is that Pharaoh Khufu would use to reach the sun god after death was found next to the pyramid. The reason why the parts of the ship have not deteriorated for thousands of years is that the place where it is located has very dry air. The outer skin of the ship was joined by ropes like sewing. Thanks to this method of tethering instead of nailing, the ropes stretched and the wood swell in when the ship entered the water. Therefore, it was impossible for water to enter the ship. After the ship sailed with the slaves rowing separately from both sides, the Egyptians made the sailing ship for the first time, faulting from the wind. Thanks to the effect of the wind, the ship was moving with less manpower. Square-shaped sails made of papyrus gained great trade dominance in the Mediterranean for Egypt in the following centuries. Egyptians also thought that a triangular sail would be more beneficial to the Nile. There are calculations related to this. Sure, ships weren't just in Egypt. BC by the 1000s, the Greeks and Phoenicians also started to produce ships, and then the Phoenicians began to dominate the sea. It was a great advantage that the Phoenicians were especially on the Mediterranean coast, just like Egypt. At the same time, the Phoenicians made their ships faster by using two large sail masts. In Scandinavia and the Mediterranean, the Phoenicians dominated trade with large cargo ships. Meanwhile, papyrus is no longer used for sailing, and flax sails are used instead. This is because flax is more durable than papyrus. In later times, sailing was made with cotton fabrics. After the Phoenician Sea Kingdom, the Roman Empire was the dominant side. Rome is also BC. He also built the first passenger ship, 55 meters long and 14 meters wide, in the 100s. Not only cargo but also high-capacity cruise ships have emerged. In addition, catamarans were also produced in the Far East, giving the boats a different dimension. Catamaran is a watercraft formed by connecting two boats. BC it has existed since the 400s. Polynesians used the catamaran as the majority, and even Polynesians attach such importance to seamanship that they established their own navigation system in 3000 BC. Later, in the 1000s AD, the Vikings produced the first warship, using ships to fight. As time passed, the British added cannons to these ships, which were used for trade and war whenever they wanted, and produced the collective war boat. Meanwhile, the warships used in the Mediterranean were called galleys. They were used until the 17th century with the addition of cannons to these ships, which also moved with oars and sails, and armed them in various ways. 
The development that started with steamships in England after the Industrial Revolution brought about many kinds of technological developments such as motor ships, and both states and people were able to use very luxurious ships during the war. Aircraft carriers, warships, cruise ships, yachts, civil transport merchant ships, 